Hello YouTube, watch lovers, watch collectors and everybody else who decided to join us today. Welcome to Fit Out Post. Today we will, uh, judging by the tools you can see uh, on the screen, we will do a quick um, unboxing and, uh, <clears throat> and a quick review of another timepiece that I just received from Amazon. Uh, we'll uh, do an unbo unboxing and um, first impressions. Uh, what is that we received here? I'm kind of excited because I know what that is. And um, we'll see. We'll see if you're going to be excited as well when you see it. Okay. Looks like a very quick packaging by, by Amazon here. Nothing extraordinary. Hmm. Well, there you go. What do we have here? We have here, as you can see, a G-Shock case. And in it, we have a Casio paperwork. You have to read that carefully. And look at this. It immediately started moving, like hands of it. This is a Casio G Steel G Shock. It, it was supposed to be this way. Okay, let's do a quick unpacking of this thing and determine if everything or anything is good or wrong with this watch. Hopefully, everything is good. That's my uh, grandfather clock there. Oh, it's noon, by the way, and this is a quick wa uh, wristwatch check. I'm wearing today my uh, Swiss Legend uh, Commander watch, which is also quite big, as you can see. Um, from here, the two watches are similar in size. Well, first impression is very good. It uh, looks quite good to me. Let's open this up and have a quick look at it. Um, I notice the date is incorrect, the time is incorrect, but we would need to set this all up properly through the app. Um, but for now, this is where we are. Let me let me bring the watch closer to the screen so you could see it better okay okay now it's a bit closer and I've removed most of the plastic as you can see the watch is quite big in size right uh, the overall dimensions are let's see what it is 53 millimeters for the crown for the crown 50 millimeters log to log thickness 14 millimeters thick the log is quite wide over here it's 25 or 20 27 millimeters over here and it tapers down to 20 over here at the at the at the clasp it has a very nice milled clasp, as you can see. Very nicely done. With a few micro adjustments here. That's very nice. Um, what else is here? Um, this is the G Steel uh, G Shock, all stainless steel uh, with uh, Bluetooth connection ability. I will. Uh, do a proper review of this watch obviously after I wear it for a while I'll, I'll download the app 
and um, and um, get it connected uh, to the internet and so on and um, and then I will do a proper review uh, showing to you how it works but there are tons of uh, um, reviews on the, on YouTube about how it works so uh, it was my just my first impression of it and so far I'm loving it it has um, um, if you haven't seen that before it has a few sub dials here uh, one is the uh, world time the local time the calendar here the date uh, of uh, sorry date here and the day of the week here also alarm stopwatch and um, and the um, chronograph there it has um, a light button here it's quite bright to be honest and a function of finding your phone over here this uh, but, uh, mode button here switches between different modes uh, on, on the top uh, dial at the, at the 12 o'clock position. It's a solar powered model uh, with a calendar I've read uh, that is a perpetual calendar until the year 2099. Will be all well. Uh, will serve me very well until the end of my days so far I'm very satisfied with it but as I said it's just my first impression um, feels um, quite quite heavy um, but that's um, I knew what I was buying and I knew how it, lo it will look like let me put it on my wrist very quickly it needs to be adjusted obviously this is how it looks um, quite a big watch um, here it is here okay uh, when I adjust it properly and do this next review I will I will show that to you uh, in details okay if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe to the channel and uh, I look forward and uh, for delivering to you a proper uh, review of, of, of this watch after wearing it for a while. Thank you and bye.